going on guys? My name is Braspy and welcome to Genshin Impact or welcome back to Genshin Impact. It's been a while since I've done videos on these and that's mainly because um, I've usually been streaming them so I've done a little bit of the Fontaine story but I decided you know what today I want to do some videos on them and actually like play the game because it's been a really long time since I've played the game. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that and we're gonna play some story and hey if y'all get me to 50 subscribers I will stream this on YouTube and you guys can just see me stream and play and explore Fontaine because they actually just added Irinus Forest and Morte region to the game and in the last update they did Fontaine Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering and as you can see I haven't explored really any of it um I haven't really been playing this game a lot I've been kind of uh fallen out of it a little bit which I, I really like this game uh, it's one of my favorite games but you know as you can see uh, <laughs> my uh, percentage in here compared to you know the beginnings of the game as you can see here is very uh, lackluster but anyway let's go ahead and get into this because um, I haven't done any story stuff so far and I guess we'll follow this whole story sequence in videos. oh Navia Stopped eating here as often after growing up. I hope the food here will be to your taste. Oh, don't worry. We haven't eaten at a hotel like this in a while. <laughs> Paimon's getting excited already. Oh, in that case, I'll go order for <laughs> us first. Yeah, I can't wait till she's available. I'm definitely pulling for her. I, I'm hoping... Um, let me know in the comments if she's the one that's uh, going to be next. Everything looks so good. Because right now it's Farina and Baiju. And then... I think it's Sino and Go ahead. Try Ayato next. Like. If so. the food's good, I'll make a group reservation for the rest of Spina di Rosula next time. <laughs> well, uh, then I'll still bring everyone, albeit with only one dish per table. Look at her flexing, bro. Sure have your own way of doing things. Oh, we called this a farewell meal, but we could also treat it like a victory feast, right? We did just win that case after all. It's certainly worth celebrating. Oh, true. Very true. In that case, boss, we'll have another two dishes. Huh. Paimon didn't mean that you had to order even more food. <laughs> Speaking of cases, do you think that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances will get caught soon now that this has all happened? Well, we've certainly taken a big step forward, but I feel that's about it. We know that there's an organization that means to dissolve these young women, but we still mm. don't know what they are really after. If it hadn't happened right in front of us, Paimon wouldn't have ever believed that a person could be dissolved like that. <laughs> right? Yet it was because this was such a preposterous notion that the investigation could never really move forward before. Ugh. If only that guy could have finished speaking! We were so close to hearing who was behind it. Mm. In such investigations, even the smallest step can seem like a yawning chasm if the trail of clues is cut off. The chasm? To be honest... <laughs> I don't have high hopes for any follow-up that the authorities might conduct. It's not that I don't have faith in their ability. It's just that a different perspective is required in some matters. It's easy to guard against and deceive a single, narrow perspective. A shift in thinking is required at such times in order to produce a breakthrough. Which is exactly why the Spina di Rosula exists. Those highfalutin folk are not all-knowing. That's why we exist. To seep into the cracks where filth falls through, where their watch fails them. That's the kind of problems we solve. Okay. Hmm. Seems Paimon thought things were simpler than they actually are. <sighs> it's alright. Well, <laughs> this was supposed to be a farewell meal, so I doubt you have further interest in this business, right? Let's talk about something else. Like, uh, what are your future plans? Uh, we wanted to ask the Hydro Archon for some information, but we haven't had much opportunity to do so. That's true. We didn't have a chance to speak to her after the trial ended. It didn't really seem like the right time or place to do it anyway. Hmm. I see. 
So, your primary objective, which has been foiled so far, was to have a chat with the Hydro Archon. I've heard that there's a long line of people waiting to meet Lady Farina. I suspect you'll be waiting for quite a while, considering that you missed your chance today. <laughs> yeah, we've heard that she's super popular here in Fontaine, and that it'll be tough getting any of her time. Hmm. Well, would you consider some more, uh, unique ways? Perhaps even methods of, uh, let's say, questionable legality? Shoot. Yes, if you're offering... Chock full of sketchy ideas. Well, what did you have in mind? Well, one way would be to infiltrate a performance troupe at the Opera House, only to abandon your act at the play's climax and ask to speak to her after the performance. I'm sure Lady Farina would be eager to see the ending, and would agree in order to finish watching the play, don't you think? Uh, could you suggest something a little more practical? This plan seems pretty hard to pull off. We'd have to go learn how to act, and acting's really hard! Maybe for you, right. Paimon, Here's another. but me... Find a way to conceal yourselves under her bed. Then, wake her up in the dead of night and demand answers. Don't let her go back to sleep <laughs> until she answers all your questions. I can personally testify that this one works. When I'm sleepy, I'll do anything as long as I can finally get some sleep. Uh... That might work, but that's not really the problem. The problem is, we don't want to get ourselves arrested. Ah, valid point. I overlooked that part. I was just thinking about leveraging a person's desire for sleep. How can you overlook something like that? <laughs> alright, alright, no more joking around. Huh, perhaps you could... Oh, I don't know. Cut the line when she's on a break. You did defeat her in court, clearing citizens of hers from false accusations. False accusation she had nearly upheld personally. I imagine that she feels quite ashamed about the whole thing. You mean mm. that if we catch her while she's on a break, she might be too embarrassed to refuse? Oh, that does make some sense. It's worth a try. Someone with their personality really feels shame. Why don't we give it a try after this meal? You know, strike while the iron is hot and all. Uh, uh, sure. Paimon, did you drink my Fanta? Uh... Was this your drink? <laughs> Sorry about that. Paimon wasn't really paying attention and the cup was right next to Paimon. Would you like to order another? No, it's fine. We're just about done here. Alright! Honestly, Paimon wouldn't recommend Fanta anyway. It tastes kind of salty and icky. My drink also tasted that way, too. Is that so? Huh. Well, in that case, we'll have to blacklist the Fanta here, then. If we're all finished eating, then I'll go pay. Yeah, we're stuffed. Thanks for the treat, Navia. Sir. Hey, starting this video off right, we get to see Navia. I can't wait till she comes out. She might oh, actually be a so Geo character I'll use. Full. Anymore. Could try walking, you know. Nah, that would be so normal. You know, like you. Dang, bro. Hmm. Okay. As for expenses this month, we're left with. Huh. Hey, Navia, what are you doing over there? Oh, nothing, nothing. It was just a meal, you know. Nothing the Spina di Rosula can't cover. <laughs> <laughs> Seems that was pretty tough for her. That's pretty impressive meal. All thanks to Paimon. <sighs> Let's get ready to try to meet the Hydro Archon again. Bye, Navia! <sighs> so this is goodbye, huh? Well, if you do encounter any other trouble in Fontaine, you're always welcome to contact the Spina di Rosula. I'll give your requests the highest priority. Sir. Uh, in any case, I wish you smooth sailing. I'll see you again, partner. Yes, sir. All right. All right, as light rain falls without reason. Yeah, so this act looks like I'm not going to be doing any uh, rizzing of Navias here, but... There aren't many people around anymore. Looks like 
looks like that boat we took to Araneas might have been the last one. The shame. Hmm. Looks like we're back here again. Huh? Traveler? Are you hearing voices again? Yes, and it's clearer than it was during the day. Oof. That's kind of spooky. Are you sure we don't want to come back in the morning? Vashe? Vashe? Hey, why are you still walking towards it? There might be something nasty in the water. I can feel strong emotions. Things are getting a little blurry. Uh -huh. Hang on. Hyman can kind of hear a voice. Shut up. Hey, right? Ugh. Hey, traveler? Stop walking. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, bro? This is already getting crazy. What the frick? Oceanid. Where's this? Are you my dear Vache? No. No, wait. You seem to be someone else. Do you know Vache? Do you know where my love is? I'm afraid not. I'm wait. Who am I? I'm very sorry, I fear I do not know. You're not Rodea. I feel like they have been washed away like a flood. So many fragments dissolved amidst the tide, never to be recovered. How much have I lost? How many things that I once held dear while on land have I since forgotten? Were once human? Yes, that is what I was once. But now, I am but the consciousness of one who has lost their form. You lost your form. I do not know how I came to be like this either. I only vaguely remember being covered in light blue water. And then all grew dim. Could she be one of the girls who were dissolved? I also remember going to many places. I loved adventure. Loved exploring places of peril. And no matter where I went, Vache would go with me. I knew how dearly he loved me, and I also loved him equally as much. Must be nice. But now, we can no longer go back. The pain of such parting, I never knew how heavy it could be. So you need me to find him? No, our reunion no longer has any meaning. There is no way for us to create any new memories. The thought of me gives him no sucker. So let it lie forgotten beneath the waters. Hmm. If you meet Vache, tell him not to look for me. Tell him to move on. That is the only thing I still remember. I believe it will be hard for him to forget Perhaps you. Perhaps that is so. As I was submerged in the waters, losing consciousness, I saw Vache above the surface. His eyes were filled with such sorrow, such longing. If only I could have comforted him, told him that I did not suffer. Indeed, I had felt a great warmth. That means Vache was a witness to the fact that you were dissolved. Is that what you call it? Dissolving? If anything, I consider it a form of release. Hmm. It was a state of neither fear nor frenzy, with only an endless peace, like the water still surface. I could also liken it to being a thirsty person who drinks water for the first time, and only then sees how they have lived for so long in a world of endless want and anxiety. It seems that after the body is dissolved, some measure of consciousness still remains. I think I hear your companion. It's time for you to go, I think. Is that Paimon? Farewell, then. I am glad that you were able to sense my presence. Remember, if you see Vache, tell him not to seek me out any longer. Uh-huh. <sighs>
What the frick? Whoa! What in the world? All of a sudden we're just... What the frick? Oh dang, she fighting, fighting. Oh, she got a sword! Yo! This is sick! Look at that. What is the... They're fighting already for no reason? Okay, my turn. Let's get that dull blade out. It's a whole army of Gardamex. Oh, what the frick? Clorand? Clorand? To her, too. I forgot about her. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. She's helping us. Never mind. I, I thought she was going to. Sheesh! She got an electro sword, bro. Dang! Oh, she's taking him out from behind. Behind. Never mind. They're all turned into her. Now's our chance. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> yo, yo, look at her go, dude. Okay, yeah, nah, she, she, she get pulled for two, bro. Oh my gosh. Yo, yo, the gun. She pulled out the flick. Yo. <laughs> oh no wait she's got a claymore that's um the the custom one oh look at her she's so cool <laughs> where, where did that come from i should thank you for lending us your sword there clorand but before i do so could you explain how you managed to show up here i followed you it seemed to me that danger has followed you more closely as of late. I believe that following someone without their knowledge is actually called stalking, is it not? <laughs> Mr. Callus's last wish was for me to ensure your safety, and I will not betray his trust. He would do the same were he alive today. Do not speak of my father! What the heck? Wait. Sorry, demoiselle. I was not strong enough. Thank you for your aid, Miss Clorand, but do keep an eye out for your manner of speech. I believe we all wish to avoid unnecessary emotional harm. Sorry. Yeah, the goat. Did not consider your feelings. Whatever. What else do you know? How did you come to the conclusion that I'd be in grave danger? I doubt I know much more than you, but I believe that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances is very powerful. Your performance tonight will almost certainly attract their attention. Huh. I'm sure they've known about me. To be honest, I'm shocked it's taken them this long to act against me. And what about these Gardamex? I thought only those associated with the Maison Guardianage could control them. None of these mecha have serial numbers. I was sure to check a moment ago. They are not the ones used by the authorities to enforce the law. I can only conclude that some powerful or wealthy party must have obtained them via illegal means deploying them as a private force of sorts what You're so this game just tries to get me to simp 24 7 i swear yes. be careful and do not act rashly i will continue investigating no matter what we will bring the truth to light that's my father's true last wish <sighs> regardless thank you for your help today clarand but, if you get any ideas, tell me first. I don't much appreciate being followed. I do not think that they'll strike again anytime soon. So I shall stop following you. Good day, all. Sir, her too, dude. She's the goat. Right. I suppose that's the best news we've gotten today. Demoiselle, I believe that Miss Clorand was being sincere with you. If we tried, we could attempt to thaw relations a little. I know, I just... She's... What just happened? Oh, thank goodness! I thought we were done for! Yeah, because you can't freaking fight. Champion duelist named Clorand who came out to save us too! We 
got lucky there. Paimon probably couldn't have fought them off otherwise. Thanks for the rescue, Navia. Oh, <laughs> come now. Forget all that polite talk. That wasn't really a farewell meal we had back there. Not for me, anyway. In truth, I hope that every meal we have together shall be a victory feast. As such, Heck yeah. we're still partners. There's no need to thank me. Heck yeah. It will take 50 years for me to match Demoiselle's magnanimity. <laughs> if it were me, I would have joined the Spina di Rosula on account of her goodwill long ago. <laughs> All right, you two. That's enough. <laughs> Bros are yes, man. You sure did show up in the nick of time. Well, to be honest, you're the one who tipped us off, Paimon. Huh? Really? Paimon contributed somehow? Oh, Paimon's even more amazing than she thought! Yes, all thanks to you grabbing my drink by mistake. Uh, how did that help? After we parted ways, I was on the way back to one of our bases when I suddenly thought of what you said. That the Fanta tasted kind of salty and icky? Wait, do you mean that I thought it tasted strange as well, but I couldn't be sure? Fanta only comes in sweet flavors. So how could it have tasted salty? The color of the drink, if I recall, had also been a bit off. So the Fanta had been spiked with water from the Primordial Sea? Yes. So if you hadn't drunk that cup for me... Spina di Rosula is preparing the grandest of awards for you as we Oh, she would have disappeared. Huh. Really? Fortunately, Paimon, neither of us are from Fontaine. Otherwise, we would I have sent been. sent people to Hotel de Boer to investigate. But whoever did this left no trace at all. That's when I figured out that you might be in danger and hurried here as quickly as I could. But why would they go after us too? All we did was defend Linny and Court and help clear his name! Ugh, oh, now we're caught up in this mess too, aren't we? Mm. Well, you did foil a plan that they were probably pretty proud of, and almost got their name in the process. Speaking of which, did anything strange happen when you drank the primordial seawater? Well, it can't be a coincidence that the Traveler fainted just now. He said that he heard that voice calling for Vashe again. Oh, and this time Paimon heard it too, but it was real faint. Does this situation have to do with the primordial seawater then? According to Lynette, the ability to hear voices like that has to do with one's sensitivity to the hydro element. Does that mean the primordial seawater so, because I'm... someone's sensitivity to hydro when it's used on people who are not from Fontaine? That doesn't sound like too much of a bad thing, to be honest. I also gained some new intel. New intel? While you were out cold? Yep. Uh, well, let's hear it, shall we? The voice in the fountain belonged to one of the missing women. A person named Vasher was, Vasher was a witness when she dissolved. Oh, that is important. Vasher? That name doesn't ring a bell. I suppose he hasn't stepped forward as a witness in court lately. Since oh, look at her geovision, dude. Dissolved, he was at least at the crime scene. But he never gave testimony or any information regarding people dissolving in the primordial seawater. Could he have been... threatened? If he's still alive, we should try searching yes, for him. thank you. This is very important information indeed. We will continue to investigate. Alright, partner. Oh, you mean you'll help us investigate? Well, you did say that our farewell meal didn't really count. That means we're still partners, right? And besides, we're in this now whether we like it or not. You're not gonna let those people who targeted us get off the hook so easily, are you, Traveler? Messing with... <laughs> this will prove to be their biggest mistake. Messing with us will cost them. Demoiselle, do try not to look quite so pleased. You are the face of Spina di Rosula, after all. <clears throat> you talk too much. Well, in that case, let's head back to one of our bases, shall we? I'll arrange accommodations for you. Let's go! We also have some plans to go over, and hopefully we can deepen our bonds as partners. Sir. We'll take that one step at a time, I guess. Don't Don't worry, the goat. With us around, our base is definitely secure. Navia 
legit the goat. She just gets to stay with us the whole way through this Fontaine story quest, which, honestly, not complaining. Let's do this. God, the music here is so good. I haven't gotten to hear every everything because, like I said, I haven't explored all of. Um, it's right up ahead, but let's make sure we weren't followed first. I've been keeping watch, Demoiselle. I haven't spotted anyone suspicious thus far. Huh, very good. But let's not let our guard down for now. I shall find rooms for our respected guests. Thank you, Malus. Now, it is down there. You, traveler. Oh, I thought this was like the slums or something. This is her base? I thought this was like the slums or something, dog. Oh, uh oh. I took fall damage. Hold up. Bro. Um I'll heal with Bennett later. I'm not I'm not gonna waste food. Schedule. Yeah, see, look, I thought this was like the slums or something. This is a base? Talk to Mellis. Oh, there we go. Okay. Your accommodations have been arranged. Under the present circumstances, I can confidently say it's the best we have. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, our funds have been a little tight lately. <laughs> After all, we that don't allow cute. illegal or unethical profiteering. In fact, our funds often come from citizenry who support us. Let's Seems go. Like it's tough times for everyone. But if you have the support of the people, that does sound like it's worth it. <sighs> to be honest, our financial situation was a lot better back when my father was in charge a few years ago. <sighs> I'm afraid I'm not quite his equal. Your father? He was the previous boss of Spina di Rosula, right? How did he... Uh, Demoiselle, if you'll allow me to explain. Uh, no, I I'll explain it myself. I suppose I couldn't run from this topic forever. And as partners, this is something I hope they can understand. All right, cool. My father's name is Callus. Yes, the same one they call Callus the Unfaithful in the streets. In the Three streets? Years ago, he was accused of murdering his own friend. But he chose a duel to defend his honor instead of standing trial. He died in the duelist's ring. Dang, oh, okay. No. But I do not believe my father was a murderer. I'm sure he was set up. At the time, I believed that if he only stood trial and was duly investigated, something amiss would crop up and prove his innocence. But strangely, he not only requested the duel himself, but rumor has it that even after being seriously injured to the point where he could be deemed as having lost the duel, he refused to surrender, determined to die in the arena. <laughs> Three years later, I still don't understand why he did that. How could he protect his honor if he's dead? <laughs> if anything, he gave up his chance to defend himself. It does seem quite odd. Do you have any clues as to why? The closest piece of info I have is that my father had been investigating the serial disappearances case at the time of his death. Ah, so that's why you're so determined to get to the bottom of that case. That's right. I've also tried to investigate the murder my father was implicated in, but I haven't found a single new clue in my countless reviews of the investigation records. However, I believe that if the murder case is related to those behind the disappearances, they must know something. 
I must know what really happened. Was my father coerced? Framed? Even if he really did kill his friend, I must get to the truth. <sighs> if only he'd been more open with me when he was still alive. He even hid the fact that my mother died due to complications when giving birth to me. Dang. And now, here I am investigating his death. <laughs> you really are a handful, aren't you, Papa? Seeking the truth for the sake of your family. You know, quite alike in this regard. Demoiselle, please. If there is anything I can do, anything at all. I also will never believe that Master Callus murdered anyone. There are none whom I respect more than the two of you, Demoiselle. Sir, Yo, he's so a goat. I love him, life, Ellis. Yet, all it took was one murder case for him to be dubbed Callus the Unfaithful. Even our supporters decreased greatly due to that incident, hence our uh, strained finances at present. Wait, if Callus was such a good man, wouldn't people at least be a little suspicious when he was accused? Not in Fontaine. Uh, no. Perhaps people just revel in that kind of drama. It's not something exclusive to people from Fontaine, really. Everyone's like that. Uh. People love watching the evil turn over a new leaf, but they also enjoy watching good people fall into an abyss from one slip-up just as much. Uh. But how could... Ugh, never mind. If Callus was really falsely accused, we have to find the truth. He didn't deserve to have that happen to him. Uh, there is one other thing. Master Callus' opponent in the duel was Ms. Corand. What? Huh? Well, then, isn't that as good as saying that she was the one who killed him? No wonder the mood was a little strange between the two of you. Yeah, that's not the sort of thing that you can just let go and move on from. But he probably said to take care of her. Ms. placed great emphasis on the honorable nature of the duel. If her opponent doesn't yield, she will not stop either. She knew Master Callus beforehand and greatly respected him, but seeing how he was resolute in the arena, there was only ever one choice she could have made. It's not that I don't understand her at all, but I, I just can't deal with this yet. Don't worry, Navia. Paimon knows how you feel. You don't have to force yourself to do that. Afterward, uh. Ms. Koran told us that at the start of the duel, Master Callus requested that she ensure Demoiselle Navia's safety. And that indicates that he intended to die in that duel. Yes, that is our understanding as well. <sighs> oh, Papa. What madness drove you to ask the person who killed you to take care of me? All right, anyway, that's the information I wanted to share with you. Even if it did sound like I was just complaining towards the end. She makes the cute expressions, bro. No, it's alright. I understand how important this is to you. Uh, thanks. You two should go and rest. This was quite a day after all. Yeah! I want to eat. Please, relax and get some sleep. We will ensure you rest soundly. Rest. How can we tell it's daytime? We're underground. Feels almost too safe. Huh? Navia? Where did the other two go? I sent them back to Poisson. It's Spina de Rosula's place of origin, and where we have our headquarters. There's not much for them to do here at the moment. Paimon gets the feeling that you're just trying to get them off your back. But never mind that. When did you get back? Were you waiting here the whole time? No, I just returned after going out for a while. I did some investigating yesterday regarding the name Vache. Wait, so you didn't sleep at all? <laughs> How could I after having such critical new evidence appear? She uh, got a point. Guess Paimon wasn't speaking for everyone just now, huh? Uh, unfortunately, this name seems to have been wiped from existence. It doesn't seem to have a match anywhere. Mm. I suspect that those behind this have already taken steps to hinder an investigation from this angle. 
But that does prove that this Fashe person is a key witness in the incident. Does that mean we're too late, though? No. Yeah, but if they saw there somebody dissolve, if I remember. One place in Fontaine, also, Farina saw it. To and threaten, they can't get Farina. No matter how much they wanted to. And that is the archives kept by Chief Justice Nouvellet. A place where detailed files on all the cases in recent years are kept. If the Oceanet you met is one of the young women who went missing recently, we should be able to find some related information there. So Nervalette maintains an archive of case files? Whew, guess that's the hard-working Chief Justice for you. In that case, let's go talk to him, shall we? Um... Hmm? Aren't you coming along, Navia? Did you get tired? <laughs> <sighs> no, it's nothing. Let's go see the Honorable Chief Justice. Uh, it's something to do with her dad. For sure. Uh, oh. That point. Halt! Please state your business here. The Chief Justice is presently occupied with official matters. Huh. This place does look pretty heavily guarded. Guess that proves that Nervalet's files are really secure. Hey, don't you recognize us? Dang. Navia flexing her, huh? her ranks. Who are you? Just to be clear, <clears throat> I don't care who you are or who you might be related to. Our rules make no exceptions. See? They've got great discipline, too. Yep, yep. Hyman can tell. If you're here just to crack jokes, I can point you towards the exit. Unlike some, we're busy, so please leave if you don't have a reason to be here. Uh, no, no. What I meant to say is, shouldn't you remember us from a few days ago? We were at the trial of the great magician Linny. Oh, oh, yes, I remember. I read about it in the Steambird. You, you must be Linny's attorneys. Ugh, it's all <laughs> coming back to me now. I should say it like that. Today to report and archive some information on a follow-up case. Huh. Is that even a thing? Hmm. Of course. Don't worry. We're here on official business. You can trust us. <laughs> oh, right then, I'll let you through. The Chief Justice is just inside. Sneaky, sneaky, oh, Navia. So uh, she is so sneaky. Please come in. Oh. He letting us in, in. <clears throat> um, sorry to barge in, Monsieur Nervalette. We only lied to get in because we didn't know any other way. It's all right. Sneaky, Please sneaky. let me know how I may be of assistance to you. Oh, bro's already uh, gonna help us. Look at that. So you're not mad at us? We are looking for a man called Vache. He may have been an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. If we can find him, we may be able to unearth some key information on the case. Ah, I see. In that case, please wait here a moment while I browse through the files. Sir. Look at that, he's already helping us. Who knew that Nervalette would be so easy to talk to? Oh, it's because we're the goats. Look at his, his eyes are cool. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm quite certain that no one by the name of Vache has been involved in any case, criminal or civil, in the past several years. Uh. There are no records of him either in the files or in my memory. Yes, that's that. So we're back to square one. Is that so? All right then. Thank you so much, Monsieur Nouvellet. We'll take our leave now. Uh, 
him. Huh? Wait, no, no, no. Miss Navia, I can understand how you feel. Your father, Callus, was a truly exceptional man. We deeply regret his passing. Ah. Hmm. Uh. And what are you trying to say, Monsieur Novillet? Are you trying to console me? Extend your sympathy? Or just express some tendril of regret? No. You are not trying to do any of that. I can hear it in your voice. There's no emotion behind your words. You only said those things because you felt like you should. Mm. It's just like last time. After my father took his place in the duelist ring, I pushed through the guards to talk to you as a last resort. You even told me then that you thought there was something fishy with the case, yet you still allowed the duel to go ahead. Mm. In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. If you truly regret my father's death, then why didn't you call a stop to the duel? Oh, why dang, look. Give me the power to stop him from throwing his life away. Why did you just dang. let him die? Despised and hated by all. Everything was hanging on a thread at that moment. Just the tiniest thing could have changed everything there are still so many things i never got to tell ah him. they have a whole crying animation so now many questions he still owes me answers to if you really have no heart then just look me in the eyes i navia will show you the true meaning of regret <laughs> i'm sorry miss navia you and my father are truly alike. You keep all kinds of things in your heart and never say a word to anyone. Mm. It's not so much that you can't feel, but that you would never express anything. Oh well. In any case, everyone already knows full well the apathy of the Chief Justice. My apologies for taking my emotions out on you, Monsieur Chief Justice. Let's go, Traveler and Paimon. Dang, bruh. Seeing her cry like that kind of sucks, bro. <laughs> Travelers just be looking mad all the time. Are you okay? <clears throat> I'm fine. That's a lie, but. Rain. It's raining. Yep, see. When we went into the building, and there shouldn't be any active trials today. How strange. Now that I think of it, on the day my father was convicted of murder, it was also raining. Rain. What is it? Did you think of something? Your father's case. Was he outside when it happened? Yeah, he was outside. It was uncovered, and the rain could fall there. Why? Do you think the rain could have affected the crime scene? That thought has occurred to us before. We've even expanded the search area to try to account for that, but didn't find anything of value. There was something you didn't know at the time. Oh. Wait. Uh, you don't mean... The fact that people can be turned into water. So you're saying that the true murderer could have been turned into water? And then got washed away with the rain? Yeah. And if that's what had happened, then no one would have believed your dad, even if he explained what he saw to the authorities. I really think I found a true genius for a partner. Yeah, he is really smart. You're completely right. How did I not connect the dots earlier? All right, let's go to Poisson. With this new lead in mind, we'll get to the bottom of my father's case for sure. Yeah, we're gonna make progress for sure this time. Do you want to go with me now? Or do you want to head over by yourself later? You can go first, I'll join right. you later. Then I'll wait for you at Poisson. Uh. 
Okay, I'm gonna leave it there, and then uh, I'll record the next part because, like I said, I want to do this whole like little subsection of the story. And whenever we do that, um, hey, if y'all get me to 50 subs, I'll stream the game, and y'all can just watch me play it on YouTube Live. So, um, thank y'all so much for joining me on this video of Genshin Impact. If you did like it, leave a like on the video. As well as, hey, let me know when Navia comes out, <laughs> please. Because I saw Hoyoverse posted about her um, a few days ago. As well as, hey, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to 50 subs, like I said, so we can, su uh, so we can, um, so we can get to uh, stream uh, on YouTube. As well as, hey, it would just be a great milestone. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.